Damboru Senki also known as Little Battlers Experience is a very silly anime and game series about a group of kids who save the world with their little robot toys. In other words, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh, but with robots instead of trading cards. And since I love robots, I love the series too. For that, and other reasons. Unfortunately, the series didn't get much love outside Japan. The only game to ever come out in English was Danboru Senki Baku Boost, an updated version of the first game for the Nintendo 3DS. There are two more sequels that came out only in Japan. But Danboru Senki W was the last entry to feature most of the same staff and to follow the same formula as the original. Danboru Senki W is the second game in the series, which was developed by both Level 5 and tri for the PlayStation Portable, PlayStation Vita, and later it got an updated version for the Nintendo 3DS, which was called Danboru Senki W Cho Custom. But the PS Vita version is by far the best version out of the three, with better controls, graphics, and sounds. Which is why this is the version I will be reviewing in this video. In the world of Danboru Senki, the most popular form of entertainment are the LBXs, which are small but powerful robots. This game's plot is about a group of children going up against the Detectors, a terrorist organization who is taking control of all the LBXs and using them to spread destruction all over the world. It sounds like the plot is really simple, but it's actually pretty cool with many exciting twists, badass villains, and new allies. In this new adventure, the journey will be through the whole world. Japan! Which means there are many new places to explore. Although some of them look very stereotypical. Now, as for Amanoban, the protagonist of the first game, he always bothered me. He is just too serious for some reason. It's like he thinks he's a Gundam pilot or something. But Hiro and Ran, this game's two new protagonists, are the exact opposite to Ban. They act more like normal kids having fun with the super fighting robots. And that is way more relatable. It's too bad for Ran, because she's kinda underplayed in this story. <laughs> But overall, I really like those two. Much like the original, the game plays like a RPG when you are exploring cities with your human characters. But once there is an enemy encounter, your characters will fight with the LBXs. At this point, the gameplay shifts to a third-person action game with combos, dashes, and super jumps. The gameplay was vastly improved. LBXs don't feel nearly as heavy as they were in the original, so it feels much better to jump and dash with them. But in terms of new features, this sequel is more of the same, with many new models, weapons, fighting styles, and special skills, which is not a bad thing, especially because the few big gameplay changes and new features don't feel like a good idea. Regular dungeons are very rare in this game. Most of them got replaced by this weird board game thing. They all look the same and they get repetitive very quickly. And some dungeons play like a really bad side-scrolling platformer with horrible controls and physics. And aside from that, there are battles against giant enemies too. But the game's physics and target system were not made for that, and the developers didn't make any adjustments for that either, so those battles feel very wonky. And finally, the new side quest system, which was based on social media, is also very convoluted and not practical at all. The previous one was very simple, but way better. Nevertheless, the core gameplay is still there and it's better than ever. 
The story may get a bit silly sometimes, but it's still lots of fun, with many cool characters and developments, even though they never try to explain Hero's new type powers. Danboru Senki W also has one of the best patches in the history of gaming, the Mizel Arc, which is an entire new campaign with many voice clips, anime cutscenes, CG events, new enemies, new weapons, and a new ending. And the best part about it is that it's totally free. It's not very difficult to understand the story and the next objectives, even if you can't read Japanese. So I totally recommend Namboru Senki W for everyone who liked the first game and for anyone who loves robots like Metabots and Gundam. As for the future of this series, it has been pretty much dead for some years now. And maybe that's for the best. And that's it for this review. But if you got more questions about Danboru Senki W or any other Japanese game, and if you have suggestions for future reviews, just leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye!